What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Series 12 in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys an absolute banger of a team that is off meta for Series 12, featuring Solgaleo, Kyogre, and Life Orb Articuno. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you guys doing? Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the community. Over 60% of my viewers, yes, you guys heard that right, 60% of my viewers, that's a huge chunk, are not subscribed. So seriously, if that's not one of you guys, make sure you guys double check and click that big red subscribe button to join the community. But let's get started here, starting off in that top left corner. Like I said, we have a nice little off meta Series 12 team for you guys today, and I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this team. But we'll get started here with Spectre in that top left corner with the Grim Nay and the Choice Scarf as item and ability. We got Shadow Ball, we got Snarl, we got Bulldoze to pair well with that Solgaleo and his weakness policy. And then last but not least, we are rocking with will o -Wisp to burn up on physical attackers. Right next to him is going to be Solgaleo, and I absolutely love Solgaleo. I think it is a beast in Dynamax form. I think it might be one of the best Pokemon in Dynamax form, considering it is super bulky. It can be easily proc with weakness policy by any Pokemon with Bulldoze, such as Spectre, maybe even Entei, something along those lines really works well. It's got the full metal ability, and then it has some weakness policy as item like we already talked about. We're rocking with Protect, Sunseal Strike for Stab, Rock Slide, and EQ, both for our coverage moves that work really, really well when Dynamax, because you can change weather. You can also get a special defense boost with that ground move. So, really do like that Pokemon Dynamax form. Cannot wait to show off that combo of Solgaleo and Spectre. Third Pokemon on team is going to be middle left. That is going to be our second restricted mod. That is going to be the one and only Kyogre. Kyogre is absolutely phenomenal. Everybody already knows how strong this Pokemon is, but the Kyogre that we're rocking with today is a little different than most. We got the Drizzle ability, obviously, to set the rain and have weather control, but we're rocking leftovers as item to get the HP at the end of every single turn. We also have Calm Mind to set up our special attack boost, alongside with a huge special defense boost, and then we got Origin Pulse for Stab, Ice Beam for a coverage boost, and Protect. So, something a little different with Kyogre. Cannot wait to use it and get one with that guy. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be our support mon and that is going to be this lovely pokeball mushroom amoongus it's got effect sport as its ability usually they like the rock regenerator but effect sport works pretty well as well and then we got the koba berry as its item we got sport obviously to put pokemon to sleep giga drain for stab and hp recovery rage powder to protect ally pokemon and last but not least palm puff for stab damage or not stab damage for regular damage alongside with healing upper ally pokemon Fifth Pokemon on the team, going to that bottom left corner, is going to be Articuno. Not Galarian Articuno, we got ourselves Cantonian Articuno, the OG. Cannot wait to use him. Haven't used him on the rank ladder in a while, so it's definitely going to be a lot of fun. We got the Snow Cloak ability, to you know, raises evasiveness, evasiveness, black, can't speak, in the hail. And then we got Life Orb as item, so Dynamax's Pokemon can always be a great option. We got Tailwind to set up for Speed Control, Free Strive for Stab, and Super Effective up against Water Pokemon. And then we also have Weather Ball for, you know, big old weather damage. And then we got Hurricane, last but not least, to pair up in that rain and do some huge damage with that Kyogre. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Raichu. And Raichu is going to work wonderfully here. We got Kyogre and we got Articuno, two Pokemon that are super effective up against Electric types. So having a Pokemon like Raichu over here with that Lightning Rod, just to absorb those uh, Electric moves, are going to work really, really well, especially when Regilecki is a huge part of the meta. We also have the Focus Sash as an item. We got Nuzzle, you know, to get that Paralyzed Speed Control. We also have Brutal Swing to pair this thing up with Solgaleo as well. So that can work out tremendously, proccing out weakness policy and roll from there. We also have Volt Switch to pivot out. And last but not least, you cannot have a Raichu without Fake Out for those turn one flinches. Guys, if you want to try the scene for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Articuno Kyogre Solgaleo Series 12 team. I'm feeling real good today, ladies and gentlemen. Looking to get some wins here in battle number one. We're going up against a Zacian and Shadow Rider Calyrex team with Intimidate Arcanine. He also has Women's Cop for Speed Control, G-Max Blastoise, and Regilecki. I feel like Solgaleo can just rip up here. I think going into the Raichu and Solgaleo combo could really just work wonders and get us rolling really, really strong. So you know what? I'm just going to lead it. I'm going to get right after it with this squad. It could lead Arcanine, but in that case, I'm still kind of chill with that one. We get, definitely got to bring Kyogre. And then last but not least... Let's just roll out with Articuno. We got Freeze Dry. We got some speed control with it. I think we can do some work here and get rolling with it. Especially because it pairs really well with Kyogre. Hurricane can land 100% of the time in that range. So, cannot go in with Kyogre without bringing that Articuno in instances like this. But, yo guys. If you guys want to catch more content from me, make sure you head down in the 
into the link in the description below jeans 25 on twitch name is right below my face cam and like i said there's a link down in the description below we try to stream five plus days every single week so if you guys are interested in more content scroll down there come catch me live hit that follow button turn on those notifications seriously if you guys see me live pop in the chat like, yo jeans what's up i would love to chat with you guys love to see you guys pop in there because it really does go a long way but let's hop to this first battle let's grab ourselves a win here with this series 12 off man and I saw a team, I was just like, yo, I got to use it. Because, you know, like, we've been using a lot of cool Series 12 teams. But usually I like to use some good Series 12 teams in the beginning of the series. And then dip down and go into some off-meta teams. Because I know you guys like them. And personally, I enjoy playing them a lot. So let's see who this guy leads. And let's see if we can counteract it. He's going to go into Magileki alongside with, okay, Spectre Air. Spectre Air. Okay, cool. Um, I think we should be fine here. I think we can just rock up with Solgaleo. Maybe protect in turn one and just start Nuzlin. Could definitely be a play. He could also go into a uh, a swap with that Regilecki because, you know, we're rocking Lightning Mod. I'm rocking Lightning Mod. So I could go into a Brutal Swing here. Kind of get rolling from there. I could definitely get rolling from there. But I'm thinking maybe of uh, just Nuzzling or I could Fake Out. Nah, Fake Out's not the play. I might just Nuzzle up onto the Spectre. And then maybe just Protect here and then get next turn go into whatever I want to do. I kind of like that because he might swap. He might swap it or he might protect him. He might be able to get off like a free paralyze here. So yeah, I'm just going to do that and not overcommit to my Dynamax just yet. He's going to protect my boy. I'm thinking uh, Regilecki might swap. Yep, there it is. And who's he going to go into from here? He's going to go into this lovely little Zassian here. So Zassian's going to poke out here. And I'm kind of cool with that. Zassian really can't... He could just go right after him. I really do like that. So he's going to go into that. And you know what? He's going to protect or I'm just going to protect. <laughs> and what's he going to do with Spectre? Or not Spectre, uh, Calyrex. He's going to go into an Astral Barrage, and I'm really fine with that. I am really fine with that, because I believe Raichu does outspeed. I believe Raichu does outspeed the, what's it called? The Zacian. And now with this Nuzzle onto this uh, Spectre, we should be thriving fine here. So we can Nuzzle here. Beautiful. Get that Paralyzed. And now I can just freely Dynamax and get after him from there. Because Raichu's speed should be... Let me see Raichu's speed. He should be flying. This thing should be cooking, right? Definitely should be faster than Zacian. Actually, it might not be. He might not be, but I think we're fine here. I really do think we're still fine going into that Dynamax, even if Zacian is faster, because I do not think Zacian is going after Raichu. I really do not see him going after Raichu, so I'm just going to Dynamax here. And I could just go for a Max Quake. Or, or hear me out here, I could just go into a Steel Spike, get that defensive boost, and take out the, uh, the Shadow Rider at the same time. Is that our play? I do like that play. I do really like that play. So, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that because that defensive boost can be really, really big for us. So let's see how he plays one. Plus, he could protect the Zacian too because Zacian protecting is always an option because everybody always thinks that, they're, that the opposing team is going after their Zacian. So he might protect the Zacian. That would be huge for us. I would love it all around. Let's see how this one plays. Let's see how this one plays. We get off our Dynamax here. I'm hoping all I really need right here is my Raichu to get off this lovely, brutal swing. Lovely, brutal swing. It would be amazing. It would be amazing. So we'll see what happens here. He's going to end up... Going into Behemoth Blade into Solgaleo? No way he goes into Solgaleo. Let's see. Oh, he does go into Solgaleo. Okay, I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. So that's all we need. Like I said, I think Zassian's coming across here. And in this instance, we're going to go for, into a Brutal Swing here. Proc the Weakness Policy. Do some big damage over onto uh, Spectre as well. Or not Spectre, Shadow Rider Calyrex, which I really, really like. And that's going to happen. We're going to get that boost. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And we're going to take out this... Uh, Calyrex at the same time. So that's a great turn for us. That's a great turn for us. We're going to get that defensive boost. So we know Shadow Rider. We're not Shadow Rider. We know uh, Zassian really ain't going to do too, too much to us with that defensive boost. So I really do like that. Even though Behemoth Blade still did a good amount, it was double damage too because we're Dynamax. That defensive boost is seriously going to help us out tremendously. So we get that weakness policy proc. He's definitely going to start targeting me down. And he still has his Dynamax. So I could end up max guarding my Solgaleo and just nuzzling up into a slot. But I do think he's going to throw out maybe Regilecki. Actually, I don't think he's going to throw out Regilecki. I kind of hope he does. Now he throws out Arcanine. So Arcanine comes in here. Um, hmm. What's my play here? What is my play? I can definitely see a Dynamax broken out here. I'm going to go. I'm going to nuzzle him. Or do I nuzzle? I think I nuzzled his ass in here. I really do think nuzzle and his ass is going to be my play. I'm going to nuzzle up on you. And you know what? I'm just going to go for Do I go for Rock Ball or do I go for a Quake? Hmm. He could double down into me. So I'm thinking of guarding this turn, but let's not play. Rockfall or Quake? I think I'd rather go for the Quake. I think I'd just rather go for this Quake all around. I'm going to drop this Quake into this Arcanine slot, and I think we can handle Zacian with our Kyogre in the back end. 
Yep, he's gonna Dynamax this Pokemon. And I'm hoping Solgaleo can outspeed, but it's gonna be cutting it really, really close. Definitely gonna be cutting it close. We'll see if we can actually eat up a Flare here. Oh, there's Dynamax coming out from the Arcanine. We are now plus one on our uh, physical attack board, but I think we're thriving. I really do think we're thriving here. We should be able to maybe get off a Nuzzle. We might double down enemy, so we'll see. But I'm hoping my Solgaleo is just quicker than this enemy. This uh, Arcanine. But he goes for Behemoth Blade. He's gonna take out my Raichu all day. That's totally fine. Raichu drops out. Raichu did a lot of work. Got off a nuzzle. We got rid of Calyrex with that. And he packed our weakest policy for Solgaleo. So now all that we're hoping here is that my Solgaleo can eat up whatever he has to offer. And my Solgaleo just straight up outspeed. So maybe we can pick up a KO. If not, at least do some big old damage here. That's some big damage. That's some big damage. If Intimidate never came in there, that would have been GG's. We would have just taken out his Dynamax Pokemon. But we still have Kyrie in the back end who 100% outspeeds. So that's great. He's going to go into a flare. Can we eat that? We do, yo. So Galio is a monster. This Pokemon is an absolute monster. And now we're sitting in a really, really good position because I can just hard change weather right here with Kyogre, right? Correct? And pose that huge threat onto that, uh, onto that Arcanine. We pose that huge threat onto Arcanine because I'm not going to uh, go into my max move into the Arcanine. I'm just going to go into an origin pulse, double down. That could take it out easily. And then more importantly, go into a another max queen slot right here and do some damage on this ass. So battle number one, looking pretty good for us. Looking really good for us. And we're hoping that we can just take out this Arcanine and keep weather because that can really benefit our Articuno by, you know, laying those hurricanes 100% of the time. We might not even get out Articuno here. Dude, Solgaleo is a beast, yo. Soaking up shots, doing some big damage. I just knew that the Raichu and Solgaleo combo could work out really, really well. And we made a great play by not just, like, uh, rushing into our Dynamax and playing a turn off by protecting and then going straight into a, uh, a Nuzzle, slowing down that Calyrex and kind of giving us an upper hand in the battle. So, patience was virtue here. Ancient patience was really, really good. It was really, really good for us. When I end up going, well, he's going to go first. He's going to go for Behemoth Blade into my, I think that's, uh, my Solgaleo, right? And I think we eat that up with a defense boost, right? We do, yo. Defense boost. OP, baby. Gotta love it. That's pretty much GG's. That's pretty much GG's. Max Quake's gonna fly here. We're gonna say Zacian. Get out of my game, dude. Get him out of here. We drop him easily. No problem. We're still sitting on 10 health. We got a special defense boost, but Kyogre should be able to outspeed this Arcanine. And we should say bye-bye. We should say bye-bye to the Arcanine, baby. Told you, yo, I'm feeling good today. And of course, his Arcanine goes first. He's just going for a straight max queen. That's fine. I don't really care. He's going to go after my Kyogre. My Kyogre says, ah, soaks it up all day. Easy. Light work. No problem. Luckily, he didn't change up the weather. It could have been rough for us. But Origin Pulse comes out here. Bang. Later, skater. Later. Later. And this and this uh, Kyogre is really, really bold. It also has the leftovers. It's going to be able to soak up shots all day. It's going to be able to recover HP. And we can also set up Combine if we want to. But we were in a position just to kind of clean up the battle. So that's why I went to it. I was thinking of just going into combine setting up, knowing that like my Pokemon kind of had an upper hand here or an upper edge, I should say. But I was just like, no, we can clean up this battle easily by going into an Origin Pulse, which we did, and we just solidified the battle. He's gonna bring out Regilecki, and ooh, Regilecki could be scary here. Regilecki could be scary here. I'm not even gonna lie, Regilecki could definitely be scary here, but I still think we're thriving here with an Origin Pulse and going into a. I mean, we could go into an EQ, but I think I'll just go into the next side because I think he just dropped an E-Web here, right? Correct. Yeah, E-Web comes in here, and Kyogre should be able to eat up that E-Web all day. Yeah. Light work. Light work. Lowers our speed. We're still thriving. We're still have our Articuno, who should be able to eat up a uh, E-Web. So, I really do like where we're sitting here. Another Origin Pulse flies. That should be GG. In the rain. Get this thing out of my face. Unless it's Sash. Could definitely be Sash. Let's see. It's not Sash. There it is. GG's. 1-0 to get this video started. What a first battle. Battle number two coming at you guys. You know we're looking to go back to back for today's video. Our opponent right here has a really, really cool team. He has Cantonian Zapdos. If I had to guess, it has that Life Orb. He also has Cresselia, G-Max Scorch, who I love, just showcased off recently. And then he has Kyogre, Dragapult, and Yvelta. Really, really strong group of three Pokemon right there. How should we play this one? How should we go into it? I'm kind of feeling the Kyogre Articuno combo here. I'm not even going to lie. But if he does bring in Zapdos, Zapdos could be scary. So Raichu might have to be the lead here. We might go Raichu and Solgaleo again. Or we can go Raichu into maybe Kyogre and set up some Calm Mines. Kind of get rolling from there. I do dig that. I do dig that. Maybe setting up the Calm Mines and just rocking out from there. So yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Because I could honestly go into the Solgaleo combo right here. But I don't want to do it. We just did it. I'm trying to make a cool video for you guys. We're trying to get rocking out here. But I'm definitely going to bring Solgaleo. And we're going to bring in the same squad. Just a different, different, different lead, different combo here. I'm not really liking that uh, Spectre on our team. 
Like, I love its moveset, but I just don't think Choice Scarf's the item. I really don't think Choice Scarf is the item. But maybe we'll try it out in third battle and get rolling from there. Maybe we will try it out. But I didn't even ask you guys a question of the day. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys want out of the next Pokemon Direct? Because people are saying we have Pokemon Day coming up soon. They're thinking a new Pokemon Direct is going to come out here. And maybe we'll get some new news. So let me know in the comment section down below you guys to answer that question today. For me personally, I would absolutely love to see uh, Gen 9 just announced. You don't even have to show gameplay. Just announced that Gen 9 is going to probably be here by the end of this year or early next year. And then last but not least, you got to give me uh, DLC for Pokemon Legend Arc. Show me some gameplay. Show me it coming very, very soon. Those are two things I want. But this guy leads to send the Scorch alongside with the Cresselia. And honestly, I could just go into a straight fake out, which I think I'm going to do onto the Cresselia. Just do that. And I think we're just going to set up a column mine and get rolling from here. Because A, he's either going to protect that send the Scorch or swap it out. Right? Yeah. He there to swap out. We're going to get off a lovely free calm mine setup. And he's going to bring out Zapdos here. The Zapdos is going to get come out here. We could nuzzle it if we want to. And fake out's going to poke here. We're going to say, hey, yo, flinch up on you. And he might pop a trick room. Could definitely go for a trick room. So we're going to calm mine here. We're gonna get that special defense boost. We're gonna get that special attack, and we're gonna get rolled from here. We are indeed gonna get rolled from here. And I don't think we can nuzzle that uh that's after. So from here, what's the genes play? We could volt switch out and just pivot in the Articuno maybe, or I could you know just nuzzle here. I think it's gonna be play. And wait a minute, what does brutal swing do again? What does brutal swing do again? It just damages. It. Okay, so you know I'm just gonna nuzzle over onto you, and I could go into a origin pulse here. Oh, I could drop an Ice Beam. So I'm thinking this Ice Beam is probably our play here. Go right into you, and he might protect and go into the Trick Room. Let's see what it does. So protect Trick Room is probably going to fly, right? But I'm cool with this turn. Nelson's going to poke here, and I can Volt Switch next turn, which I probably will. I probably will Volt Switch next turn. Just get my Raichu out there and go from there. Ice Beam's going to get blocked, and we're going to see what he does. Imagine if we would have set up another Calm Mine. That could have been amazing. He Trick Room pop, pops it. That's totally fine. I'm cool with that. I'll go with that. Let's Volt Switch into our Articuno. We're not going to set up a Talon. Or we can just go straight into Solgaleo here, which wouldn't be bad. Which wouldn't be bad at all. Because there's no way he goes into the uh, the Electric move here. There's no way he goes to Electric move. So you know what? I'm just going to go here. And I could double down into him. Could definitely double down into him, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to double down into Zap this year. So I really don't want it on the floor. It could Dynamax. Yep, there's Dynamax coming out from him. There's no way he goes for an Electric move here. I just don't see it happening. So we'll see how this one plays out. There's no way. There's no way he goes for electric. But in this instance, Trick Room's out, so he should uh he should go first. So this should work out perfectly for us. And I might force an electric move out of his hand by swapping and then hard swapping back in. So we'll see how this one plays out. Cresselia is paralyzed. Wow, that's lovely. And Ice Beam's gonna fly here. Got my slow Kyogre doing some work. Give me a freeze, yo. Give me a freeze. Nope. And he goes for the electric move. He goes for the electric move. No way. This dude forgets about Lightning Rod. I can't really say too much on it, considering, you know, like I do that all the time, but it is what it is. It is what it is. So he forgets about the Electric Move. I could go into Solgaleo, but I'm thinking Articuno's our play. I'm not even gonna lie. Articuno's looking real fine here. I'm gonna bring out Articuno. We haven't showcased it yet, but he goes into the Electric Move, and we know that my Kyogre can pretty much KO that thing in one shot with this Ice Beam. So I'm just gonna, just gonna target that down, right? Ice Beam comes in, picks up the KO, and then we could double down into it just in case if we want to. But I'm thinking just going into a Hurricane into Cresselia. Because honestly, if I wanted to, if I wanted to, I could hard swap right back into that Raichu. I could hard swap right back into Raichu, but I have... Oh my god, another Palace. I'm sorry, buddy. RNG's not in your favor. But I have faith that this Ice Beam KOs it. Yeah, all day. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we pretty much just solidified the battle. Taking out his Dynamax turns and rolling from there. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Light work all day. And we still have a Raichu in the back. Hurricane's gonna land here. And I apologize for the RNG here. Sorry that his paralyzes that my paralyze is doing him dirty here. It really is. So we have our Articuno chilling here. I could actually Dynamax Articuno. It really depends who he brings out. But right now I feel like just save my Dynamax. I still have Solgaleo in the back end. I'm still really, really liking that. And we still have we could Dynamax our Kyogre. It is definitely an option to Dynamax the Kyogre. It is definitely an option. You might have set the Scorch ready to roll back in here, but I just don't think he brings it back out here with what we have on the field. We have Articuno. We have uh, we have Kai over here, and he's just going to bring out Yvelthus, which I'm totally cool with. Yvelthus going to come out here. I'm going to drop a big old Ice Beam into that thing. And he, actually, or I could freeze right. I could go into a freeze right here. You know what? I might Dynamax him. 
really want to. Let's Dynamax Articuno here. Let's have some fun with this one. Dynamax Articuno. Let's just go straight. We could go into an Origin Pulse here. Yeah. Let's go into Origin Pulse. I was going to try to set up another, what's it called? Another Combine. But in the position that we're in, let's just start dealing damage. Let's just start getting after the battle that way. But yo, I've been loving my turn one today. My turn ones have been ripping out here. Game one, we went with the Protect and Nelson play. This one, we went with the Fake Out Combine and we read the hard swap out of the set of the score. So beautiful turn one for us. Lovely, lovely, lovely turn one for us today. Turn one usually sets up the game. And dude, I'm so sorry, Cresselia. I don't know what you want me to do. I, I apologize here. You belt the dodge attack. Okay, that makes up for it a little bit. That definitely makes up for it a little bit. But yo, poor Cresselia over here. Poor Cresselia. Being paralyzed three turns in a row. He's just going to go straight for a Dark Pulse. That's fine. My boy soaks that up with that special defense. And then we have leftovers to get some more HP. Hailstorm's going to come out here. That's pretty much GG's, right? Get him out of my game. Get him out of here. Get him out of my game. Articuno coming in big, yo. Such a beast of a Pokemon with that life orb. Takes him out. We do change up weather, and we trigger our Snow Cloak, which is really, really good. Uh, I think Rain was ended anyway, so I don't mind it too, too much. I do not mind it at all. is going to take some Buffets. Same thing with my Kyogre, but we both have leftovers, so it kind of just neglecting leftovers. But yeah, it's over with. GG's. Get out my face. Get out my face. Huge plays from us. Huge plays from us. That combine setup was beautiful. Allowed us to do a lot more damage onto that Yvelta with a coverage move. Or not Yvelta. Also, the Zapdos with a coverage move. Being able to take him out in two dime matches. Awesome. It was great. It was great. And now he's sitting here. He's going to bring out Sand Scorch, and he's probably like biting his nails, shaking his boots because he's going up against the best combo out there. We're just going to go into an airstream here, get off some stab damage, and then drop an origin pulse just to back it up and pick up the KOs. But I think he does cancel battle here, right? That's sweet. Oh my. Dude. I apologize. I really do apologize to this, uh, this Cresselia. I really do. I feel so bad. Was that four turns in a row? My paralyzes are just OP. I might be hacking, guys. I might be hacking. Just letting you guys know. Might be. I'm not going to tell you guys the truth, but I might be hacking. I just might be. <laughs> I was just playing around, but there it is. Origin Pulse comes out here, takes out the Cresselia, takes out the Sand Scorch easily, and perfect sweep, yo. Perfect sweep, yo. Did not lose one Pokemon. We got some good news, ladies and gentlemen. First good news is we're 2-0, and we went back-to-back -back for today's video, solidifying a winning record. Second good news is your boy is now a Master Ball team. So we're bringing you guys a great third battle, going up against a strong opponent with a really cool team. G-Max Lapras, Amoongus, Milotic, Turtonator, is that how you pronounce it? The little dragon fire type over there. Then he also has Zygarde alongside with Cradley. And he did not bring two restricted mods. Just realized that he's using like a Series 11 team in the Master Team. But hopefully we can get after this and grab ourselves a win here in Battle number three. And grab ourselves a perfect record. But Articuno is going to do a lot of work. It's freeze dry and ice moves that are going to be super effective up against that. Milotic, the Lapras, the uh, Amoongus, the Turtonator, I think it might be super effective up against. I'm not too sure because it is part fire type. And then it will also be super effective up against the Zygarde and the Cradley four times. So you know what? We're bringing out this Pokemon. Let's get after it with him. Let's go uh, you. And we're going to bring Raichu in this elite here too. Do that, that, and then we're definitely going to bring in uh, Solgaleo here alongside with Kyogre. I just think it's really, really good. Rock out with this same squad or, mmm, mmm, you know what? I'm sorry. I want to bring Raichu, but I want to bring Raichu, but I don't want to use the same team three, three battles in a row. So, you know, we're going to go Spectre. We're going to have some fun with this one. We are going to have some fun with this one. We maybe should have used Amoongus over Spectre here. Could have been really, really good. Just to follow me and kind of get after it that way. But we'll see how this one plays out. We shall see how this battle plays out. We honestly probably should have went in the Raichu. But if I had Bunny on the line or anything and I wasn't recording and I really needed this win, I would have definitely went in the Raichu. But, yo, we're making some content for you guys. I want to use a uh, different Pokemon on team. So we're going to go Spectre here. He's going to go Lapras and Amoongus. And I can just Snarl up here. Snarl, Freeze Dry, Snarl, Freeze Dry, Snarl, Freeze Dry. I'm kind of with these turns all day. I really do like it. We have the Life Orb. We can do some big damage. This thing could be Weakness policy, But... It is what it is if we're just strong and getting after the battle. They're going to a hurricane, but, you know, freeze dry is definitely going to be a player. Freeze dry into snarls. All day long. Let's do it. Let's do it. He could end up Dynamaxing that G-Max Lapras, and in this case, we're just going to waste out Dynamax turns. And then get out our restricted mods. And I think just solidify the battle. And just roll. So, I really like this lead. I honestly like this lead. Like, Raichu would have been really, really good because we could have just faked out turn one and rolled from there. Then went to some Volt Switches, maybe some Hurricanes, kind of just... Do our thing from there, but this works out well too. This works out wonderfully. Wonderfully. So he's gonna bring out the Lapras. Bang. Big old G Maxon. 
probably gonna go for an ice move. I'm fine. He's probably gonna try to set up that award. Like I said, I'm fine with it. We're gonna snarl him down and just start lowering that special attack. He might spore me. Let's see. He does not go into the rage battle. We go into the snarl. He might spore me here. Please, sir, do not spore me. We do not like that one bit. We do not like your spores. Freeze try is gonna poke. Bang. It's not oh, it's not super effective. I thought it would be. But it's because he's part of ice type. Resonance gonna fly through it. Who are you going after? Leave me alone. Gonna go after Spectre. Air. Spectre, eat that up all day, baby. All day, baby girl. And a spore is gonna come out here, and I kinda want him to spore up on my Articuno. Cause I can just keep strong with my Spectre. I love it. I love it. Let's see what he does here. Here comes Spore into my Articuno. Alright. Alright, I see how it is. See, I haven't used freeze dry like enough to kinda like to, to know it fully because I thought it was just super effective up against all water types, but I guess since it's ice, it doesn't really work. So from here, we could go for a hurricane. Could go for a uh tailwind. We could try to set up a tailwind here. But you know, we are gonna be asleep this turn, so you know I'll click in tailwind and see if I can lock that down. And you know what? I'm just going into another snarl. I bet you he goes to either rage powder. Actually, probably not rage powder. He's probably just gonna spore me again, right? But I think guys, he's just gonna spore me. But in this case, we're snarling down. We're wasting out his dynamax turns, and we're gonna roll off from here. He's gonna spore me. We already know what's happening. We already know that this guy wants to do play how he wants to play here. He's gonna drop a lightning here. That's fine. Can we eat that up? Probably, right? Shh, all day. All day, Articuno. All day long. Loving this team. I'm loving this team a lot. But yeah, we already know what this guy's doing. He just wants to spore me. He just wants to do play how he's been playing. And what a clown. He sets up electric terrain and tries to go for spore. Mwah. We love to see it. You love to see it. Um, I'm gonna try to set up another tailwind. I would love to take full control of speed here, but like, dude, he has slow Pokemon. He really does have slow Pokemon, so I'm kind of with, uh, I'm kind of with maybe not setting up Tailwind, but let's just set it up. Let's just set up and go into another Snarl, dude. Waste out his Dynamax turn. He wants to keep trying to put me to sleep. We're just going to keep dropping a special attack. We'll play these games all day long. I'll play these games all day long. All day long, baby. Articuno is still slump. God dang it, man. Hopefully we don't have a three-turn sleep. Another Max Lightning is a fire. And that is going to be the tastiest snack I ever had. So tasty. So delicious. And what's he going for here? Palm Puff. Are you healing up your... Okay. <laughs> He's going to heal up his minus three Lapras. That's totally fine. Hopefully we get to wake up here. Hopefully I get to wake up here. And in this case, we're going to snarl again. And do I Hurricane? What's my player? Or do I go into Freeze Dry? You know, we're going for Freeze Dry. I ain't playing games, yo. But I feel like he might be Koba Berry. So in that case, I'd rather just go straight into this. I'd rather do this. I'd rather just keep snarling down. We, we have to snarl down. We're Choice Scarf, so. It's an absolute must. It's an absolute must. We have speed, so. So I think we're fine here. He's going to withdraw all the Lapras. Oh, no. The Mugus comes, gets a swap. And he's going to go into who? Miles. Like, okay, beautiful. That's super effective on that thing. I think it's just a water type all around. Snarl's gonna come out here, and it's all oh, competitive. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. I'm kind of scared here. I'm kind of scared. How much damage can we do with this freeze dry? We can do a decent amount of damage with the freeze dry. I wouldn't mind going into another snarl because we have to. Let's see. Articuno wakes up beautifully. Beautiful. Freeze dry pokes her. How much damage are we ripping in this thing? Not that much. Not that much. Okay, that's a little tough there. That's a little tough. And a thunder's gonna poke here, and he's gonna take out. Wow, he lands a thunder. He's gonna take you out. And in this case, I gotta bring out Solgaleo. I gotta Dynamax. I think I gotta get after the battle. Right away. And then hard swap my. Uh, I think I have to hard swap my my Spectre here. We cannot keep going for Snarls here. And it, uh, we can't keep giving it the what's it called? The competitive boost cannot allow that. So we're gonna have to hard swap here. We're gonna get rolling from there and see what we can do. So from here, we're gonna go straight into that Dynamax. And do we go to the Quake or do we go into that Rock? Quake could be good for that special defense boost. Hmm. And I'm not worried about that Lapras. I'm not worried about that Lapras. You know, I'm gonna go into that. I'm just gonna hard swap. I'm just gonna hard swap into Kyogre here. Lovely little Kyogre here. So Spectre, let's drop back. Get a choice Scarf off of us. This is tough. This is real tough here. It's real tough, but we still have our Dynamax, and he has no Dynamax. So I think we are sitting in a good position as long as he doesn't really swap swap that Lapras. And there it is. He swaps the Lapras. Who's he gonna go into from here? He's gonna swap into Amoongus over here. And hopefully he's not protecting that mile. So we can get off some big damage. We can get that huge special defense boost. And we can roll off from here. We could roll off from here. The only problem I would have with this uh 
with this battle right now is if he goes for a scald into my Solgaleo and picks up a burn. I'd be very upset at that. That would pretty much maybe lose this battle. But I still think we can be thrive pretty well because we do have Ice Beam on our Kyogre. We can do big damage over onto that Amoongus. Or I could Combine set up, but I really don't want that thing spawning and kind of just setting up. So, Max Wake's going to fly here. We'll take that special defense boost all day long. And we'll, we'll tee off a little bit of damage. We'll tee off a little bit of damage here. You'd love to see it. So, that special defense boost out and about. And what is Milotic going for? Maybe Hypnosis? And, of course, it has the Citrus Berry. So, it's going to thrive out from there. It's tough news. That is tough news for us. Jeans is not liking that. He's not looking at one bit. He goes for the recover. Oh, oh my. Look, get him out of here. We don't want him here. Okay, so he's stacked up with a bunch of uh, special attackers. Oh, he had a war bell as well. He had a war bell as well. So, you know, we're just going to go here. Did we go there? Yeah, we're going to go there. And I might just calm mine. He's just going to start swarming, man. So, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get rid of this Amoongus, man. He needs to go. We're going to go for the Quake just for that special defense boost because I feel like it can really carry our Kyogre. With the leftovers and all the uh, special attackers he has in the back end. So I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of not. It's going to be really, really tough for us. Definitely really, really tough for us. We don't really have a way of taking out this Milotic besides my Soul Gale. Maybe my Spectre can come in there with some Shadow Balls and rip up. But we'll see from here. We shall see. Tiger might be able to catch up. Like I said, dude, if we get this thing bulked up, we can be sitting in a good spot. And he withdraw. Okay. I love that. I love that. He withdraws that and he goes into who? Goes back into Lapras here. And he just wants that Thunder. He just wants that Lightning to kind of poke through here. He's going to go for a Protect on the Moongus. I'm with that all day. We're going to be able to Max Quake over onto this thing. Chip up some damage. And more importantly, get that Special Defense boost. And we'll kind of just go from here. Because I think a Rage Powder will probably come next turn. Let's see. Big damage. That's some good damage. And he doesn't have a War Ability. That's great. That's great. So we go into that. Uh, another Special Defense boost. I think we just go into another one, right? I assume he's going to get blocked. It's a Pike all here. What is the play call here? Electricity disappears. He could go for that Rage Powder. Could definitely go for the Rage Powder. I could change up weather. Just to make sure like Thunder wouldn't hit. And it, this would actually carry that thing all day. Uh, what do I want to do? I think we go for this. I think we just go for this. I do like this turn. I do like this turn. Does he go for the Powder? He just protects. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Now, who's he putting to sleep is the real question. Who is he putting to sleep is the real question. Rockfall is going to fly here. It's a good battle. This is a solid battle here. Rockfall flies here. I wish we did go into that quake if he's protecting. Rockfall is going to chip away some damage. Buffets are going to fly through it. We have a Kyogre plus two on special defense. And I think he is just going to put him to sleep. I really do. Oh, no. And this thing's policy. Ouch. Ouch. We got to hope he's not putting Solgaleo to sleep. Let's see who he puts to sleep here. Ice Cream going to fly. Yeah. Hey. Put Kyogre to sleep. I really want Kyogre. Or just freeze this thing. Freeze it, Kyogre. Do it. Yes! Yeah! Yo, RNG is on our side today. Let's go. Let's go, baby. <laughs> All day long. All day long. RNG is on our side today. You gotta love it. You gotta love when you're having days like this. I said it in battle number one. I'm feeling good. The game knows that I'm feeling good. It's just like, yo, let's, let's let Jeans have a good day today. Let's let his recording go smooth. Let him get some wins. We'll give him some RNG today. Freeze coming in big. We're going to be able to drop a Rock Slide. Rock Slide should be able to finish you off. And Ice Beam can't come across here. Or we, or we can set up a Calm Mind. But I'm liking just Ice Beam and get rid of this Amoongus. God dang, yo. Paralyzes today. Freezes today. We're just doing all wonders. We're just doing wonderful. He's frozen solid. He was going to go for that Rage Powder. That's all good. Rock Slide's going to fly through here. Lapras, do me a favor. Get on out my game. Get him on out of here. You're gone. And the Munkus. Come here. Come here. Let me tell you something. Get, get over here. Get on out my game, baby. Get him on out of here. We're not playing around today. He has Milotic left. Uh, we're plus two on special defense. Who else does he have? I don't think he showed his last Pokemon. And if it's Zygarde, it's either, it's gotta be either Zygarde or Cradle, right? And we got that Ice Beam four times super effective. Get him on out of here. <laughs> I don't know why I swapped the Milotic. The Milotic was definitely the scary Pokemon. With that competitive built into it, it was definitely scary. But he's going to pull out a oh, Turtonator. I'm curious to see if Ice was super effective in this thing. Shiny Turtonator. I'm curious to see if Ice was super effective in this thing. It is fire. So it might, you know, make it neutral. We go for it. Oh, we could go for it. We go for Rock Slide. I think Rock Slide is going to be reply. And Ice is not super effective. You know, I'm just going to go for a Calm Mind here. 
You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm. Yeah, we're going for it. Yeah, we're going for an ice beam. We're doubling down into this Turtonator. Gotta get him out of here. This dude, I think he just cancels battle. He does not. He does not. Rockside flies. That thing's bulky. I actually should have known how bulky it was, but we're going for flinches here. Do we have RNG on flinches here? Here goes Ice Beam. Give me a freeze, yo. Just show me the freezes, yo. RNG totally on our side. We got a flinch. We'll take one flinch. Burn Jealousy so you gonna fly through here. We soak. We soak. Get out of here. Get him on out of here. And a weakness policy. Prox, that's GG's. I totally forgot about a weakness policy. <laughs> we had that all game. We had it all game. Now Rockside should be able to take it out, no problem. And we can look for the flinch on the Nomilotic again. Go ahead, cancel the battle, dude. Cancel the battle. Our team is thriving. It's thriving. Oh, yeah, it's thriving. We're thriving. We are thriving. <laughs> we are thriving out here. We're going to that. We're going to drop. We go for an Orange Pulse. What's going to do more damage? Orange Pulse would do more damage. Actually, will it do more damage? It will. They're both not very effective. Drop the Orange Pulse. Run it up, baby. Just cancel the battle. Give me that perfect record. We got a perfect record in the bag today. Gotta love it. Turtonator's gonna drop down here. We're weak this policy. Beautiful damage. And you know, the special defense boost definitely helped us out here. I knew he was rocking a bunch of special attackers. I was just like, let me just keep sending Max Quake. Stack it up. We have the leftovers on Kyogre. Should be light work. But Origin Pulse flies here. Probably not gonna KO, right? Yeah, does not KO. And we'll just uh, finish this battle off with the next turn. And we get another flinch, dude. I'm so sorry for the opponents we're bursting today. I apologize to all these opponents that we are bursting today. I am apologizing to all the opponents that were bursting. RNG is just doing them dirty. Even though we won this battle, regardless, that last battle might have turned out a little bit different. But that Cresselia didn't get flinches, but we're looking good regardless. I'm going to go into an EQ. Actually, no, we're not going to go into an EQ. Because I don't want to hurt my poor Kyra. Even though it's not very effective, I would love to see that animation of the Sun Seal Strike. And just taking out the Milotic from there. But I think he cancels, right? Yeah. Cancel the battle. Perfect record for today's video. What a set of battles for today's video. Absolutely dominated all three of our battles that we played. RNG was on our side, but we had some fun and got some big old wins with this team. But yo, Articuno definitely was really, really good. We got to fully showcase it in battle number two and bring it in on all three battles, even though we didn't get to use it in battle number one. I still feel like it popped out and did some work all around. The Kyogre, phenomenal with this move set over here and its bulkiness with that leftovers. And then Solgaleo is amazing all around. Like I said, really, really strong Dynamax Pokemon. Once you get that weakness policy rolling, it is pretty much GG. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.